Mr. Horncastle, I'm afraid that due to a lot of circumstances, I do not want to work with you. No. Mr. Horncastle, I am here to tell you that you are not helping me in any way sh- No. Oh, bloody hell. Just do it already, calm bastard, and get this over with. Sir Horncastle, the second. I would like to speak with you for a moment. For the past few days, I've been spending most of my time doing most of the work, and I have not seen one single cent of progress being made into getting my family out of Astoska. You promised me something that you didn't deliver, and all I asked of you was to be my friend. But I was wrong, and all I can tell you now is that you, sir, are not my friend. You are not in any way, shape or form helpful. You are what is the definition of unhelpful. And I hope that you remember that for the rest of your life. How do you say to that, Sir Horncastle? I, I'm sorry, calm bastard. I was just listening to music on my earphones. What were you saying? Oh, bother. Never mind, never mind. Ignore what I just said. Goodbye, I, I'm just going to finish with the staff and such. Oh well, back to my classics. Don't touch that! You bastard! Hello my dear explorists and welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society. In the previous episode, we have just gotten two artifacts from the Hungarian fort after getting away from the cultists and running away from the beasts and succeeding where others have failed aka Harry Walker, Charles Templeton and Beer but we'll forget about them as Agatha, Jon Le Fair and Hildegrass Hass are being renowned explorers in their own way and only now has Hildegrass been given a very big diplomatic boost and Agatha be giving another boost, and thanks to the Sanctum Ceremonious, the Diplomat and Archaeological Perk makes six plus defense. And now, we must go to the next expedition. Now, we have three other choices. No, four actually. We could go to the Memphis Desert. We could go to the Highlands. We could go to Mali Mystery, or maybe the Caribbean Islands. But knowing that these are free stars and we are no way in fact going to go to a free star until we've learned. Let's see what Mally Mystery would be much more better. Mally Mystery, you are up for the unique chance to explore the inland in search for a mysterious witch doctor. These areas are full of good spirited villagers and devious hyenas and a friendly approach might help. Expect plenty of rogue athlete and Bulgulia challenge. You might find a lot of gold. Is that so? We must launch our expedition immediately. Let's go, shall we? We will be prepared for what avails us. The tribal treasures. Recently, the world has grown interested in the cultural treasures from West Africa. A group of people in little studied and understood still lives in these areas. A prosperous clan lives in a large village somewhere near here. Yovon is positive that you'll find the treasure. There, let's see where the village is. The village is there! Right in front of us. However, this village has not been kind to strangers. Their leader, a witch doctor, has always refused the pleas of travellers. They say he finds them boring, rude, and could not touch his heart. If you want the best results, you have to find out how to please the witch doctor. We'll see. And as we clearly see, we have three choices. We could go to the one where something odd might happen, or we could go to a technique challenge for an engineer or a rogue. Now, knowing that, we may need to stay away from that for the time being. But knowing this, we will go to the first thing we see in front of us that will help us learn something. As you walk through the jungle, you can't help but feel you are being followed. After a few hours, you are surrounded by tribesmen with spears. One of them steps forward and he looks angry. The tribesman yells at you for walking so carelessly through this dangerous jungle. 
They have followed you for hours and killed two cobras and a wildcat who came towards the sound you were making. He is willing to teach you one the rogue art of sneaking. Does one of us know anything about rogue? Knowing this, we will give this to Yvonne. Yvonne learned how to move without making a sound. Hopefully you will attract less attention from wild animals now. Hopefully this will be good for us. Knowing this, we have many, many options. And knowing we have so much supplies, we have no need to basically fondle around. Now we have many choices. We could go here, where we will be seeking supplies, but will be requiring a nature challenge, where we will need an athlete, naturalist, or survivalist. Knowing that Agatha is a naturalist, and that Hildegard is also a naturalist, but unfortunately, I do not think that's going to be profitable. But knowing this, we may want a rogue engineer. With this technique, it will give us gold research. We must go there at once. An abandoned salt mine is in your way towards your destination. Although there is nothing useful to mine anymore, there can be some equipment found. Maybe some could craft a useful tool out of it. Now the only one we know that can do that is Agatha. If we lose, we lose one resolve, but we have five left. So hopefully we get a good tool out of this. Agatha, do your thing and spin the wheel. We did it! We have got the renowned explorer's luck inside of us. Agatha created a useful tool out of the equipment and learned some things about the equipment. Knowing this, we have been gained some research, which is lovely if you say so. But knowing this, we may need to go off and explore some more. Now we have two choices. We can either go to an encounter where there will be gold, or there where there will be status as well as something to learn. Knowing that, we will go forward! An audit committee for the witch doctor approaches you. Hmm, you seem moderately interesting. Maybe you would like to enlist on the waiting list for those who can assume our leader, the Witch Doctor. He might give you some reward for your foreign tricks. Waiting time is five months. Well, you do want to meet the Witch Doctor, but you don't have much time. Now we have four choices. Shall we speak to them now? Or shall... I'm afraid we don't have much time. We could audit. Or Yvonne persuades the villagers. Or Hildegras pulls off a fun prank. Knowing this, we must set a prank, which could give us two campaign. Hildegras, make a fun prank! The villagers are amused. That's utterly pretty funny. Say what? I will make sure you only have to wait two months. Ain't that great? That still takes way too long. You have to put a little more effort. Time to convince the villagers! Oh dear, and it would appear that we need to be as bright and nice as possible. If we are to be devious, the villagers will trick us. But if we are aggressive, the villagers are punched into endorsing you. Maybe. But if we are friendly as they are, you will be convincing the villagers. Let's start the encounter. Agatha, knowing your impressive skills in the talking down of people, impress the natives. Tell them you have an A plus in, in computer design. Even though you don't, and we don't live in the time for culture. Yonder! Go over there and impress the next man next to you. And you show him your impressive ship. But in his impressive sense, he runs off as well. Knowing this, you pull off another funny prank. And you, after that, you just say, It's a prank, bro. I'm you just got a prank, bro. Isn't that right, Native American? Or native man. Anyway, knowing this, there are only two people. Knowing this, this is going to be a pleasant encounter. The man behind us sneaks up against Africa. Look out, Africa! Oh, he gives you a thumbs up! That is so dandy! The lady over there gave you a dandy thumbs up! Oh, this is not good at all. Agatha, impress that man with your superior A+. You have done it! And now doing that, he runs off. Now, knowing this dandy attitude will not be unheeded, we impress the main blue lady, or man, I don't really know, and he is impressed as well. Our impressive, friendly victory has convinced them.
that we are actually needed. They actually like my jokes. Awesome. That's lovely. The villagers are utterly impressed by you. We have to admit, you are pretty cool. Especially you, Yonve. You are like the best person like ever. We make sure that you can get audit whenever you come. Great. That's lovely, as well as this upgrade. Knowing this, shall we share the enthusiasm? Or shall we be cautious excitement? Because only one of these is going to be needed. We could either share the enthusiasm. The training will be selected. Hill Regard will also be affected by cheer, but with 50% power. Or cautious excitement. Cheer will add a buff that will make the target 20% armor and speech. Knowing that, I will need that very impressively. And we will dance! We will dance! In politely, knowing this will be very lovely. Now, we could either do two of these. We can either go up there where there will be a technique challenge or a wits challenge. Or shall we go there where there will be some food? But knowing our luck, I think we will be lucky knowing- Oh no! You knew they were around here! Caravan Raiders! There are too many of them to take head on, but they didn't notice you coming. From around the rocks, you see some coin and an interesting document that you would like to have. Maybe you can acquire those goods quietly. Now, Yvonne being the only good thing, should we continue exploring or shall we risk that? Knowing that, we may lose some grit, but I know Yvonne can do it! Spin the wheel! Oh dear god! We have just been spotted! Oh no, Yvonne gets too close to the camel with the coins but one of them. Guards notice Yvonne. Yvonne is chased off by the ten men besides the shock. Yvonne is lucky to remain unharmed. But unfortunately the grit has gone lower, which is going to be very bad. Oh, but we can go over here and restore our supplies. You see a small lake where loads of animals come to drink. You see a herd of elephants on the one side and a herd of gazelle on the other side. A perfect spot to refresh yourself and refill your water supply. We have gained two supplies, which means we can continue exploring. In this unexplored territory, the resources can be gained from here, but there will also be an encounter. Knowing this, we will go! You see a small elephant beginning to attack and laughed at by the hyenas. It seems that they are being led by a strong female hyena. What do you do? Shall we interfere, or let nature run its course? Knowing this, we will not let this elephant be harassed by this lady! As soon as you run towards the hyenas, they leave the wounded elephant alone. The elephant seems not too badly hurt. Time to show those arrogant hyenas to stop messing with everything. You hyenas are a very naughty hyena! Isn't that right, Tafkafa? We will engage! And we can see the hyena right there. If we are to go friendly, we will get encounters tokens and lots more. Let's start! Knowing their devious attitudes, we will fight this devious attitude with some friendliness. Yonve, be sh a darling, and basically s tell them that you have a ship ready for this. The hyena is impressed! And knowing this persuasive attitude, Agatha goes forth and basically looks at this hyena and says to the... Hyena, you have an A+. Plus. What a superior anecdote. And to finish it off, Hildegrass impresses the beast with a magic trick. No, and after that, it would appear that the hyenas run off. Oh, but that seems to have been a very bad idea. Knowing that, we must end our turn. The hyenas turn and appears after their strong female companion. We will all Oh my god! Oh, he is annoying the ladies! Oh, what a terrible display! They're calling them snails! We are obviously being in some form of grilling session. Oh, we are getting ourselves in a very poor predicament. But with sheer determination, we will be able to gain our resources and basically impress them even more! Impress them, Yonve! And with this attitude, he runs off to tell his friends. And Hildegrass Haas could do what many people have just been a speech. But with this undergoing, she impresses the next hyena next to her with a magic trick by showing flowers. As the hyenas are very impressed, they run off like the bunch of cowards they are. 
Now, the last hyena. Who will Agatha take down? What's this? She goes closer for a closer look, but it would appear that attacking them, hurting them, or impressing them might cause them to not be in any way impressed. But she tries her best and takes the hyena down. What an impressive amount. Only one hyena against the three ladies of the friendly nature. And he is running off, trying to hide from these adventurers as much as possible. But, with our techniques combined, we will send Agatha to send a striking blow to this immoral mongrel. He takes the impressive ability, and the beast is down for the count. Every hyena has been impressed with this friendly attitude of yours. Ugh, I hate being nice to losers, but I guess one of them was fine. Knowing this, we leave. The strong hyena truly feels sorry and is purring. Your pet her a few times and feel that you two are bonding. After a few minutes, the hyena rounds up her cackle and they leave. But not before they lead small elephant back to a turd. Wait, so we don't get anything? What kind of attitude is this? This is insulting! Knowing this, I will need something of a devious attitude next time. Shall we learn humiliation? This training can now be selected. Gains extra speech on Yonver Seddon. Or shall we use immoral insults? The training can now be selected. One campaign when resolving a battle with devious attitude. I think humiliating them will send us some spirit into our hearts. And finally, Agatha von Vosvik will be given either the re-education perk, which training can be selected. With Lecher, it gains 25% power with your attitude is aggressive. Additionally, the effect on the mindset is stronger. Or shall we give feedback? The training is now selected. Agatha gains free speech power for three turns for each target that is saddened after casting Lecher. Knowing this, we may need to re-educate these unmoral beings. And knowing that, we finish the upgrading and set off towards the next part of the adventure. Shall we go to here, where we will be given a perk? Or shall we just go and find some research? You find a weird yellow mask. A message is inscribed. Putting on this mask will weaken you, but will bring you mystical beings. Intriguing. Shall we leave this mask behind? Or should we let one of the ladies do this? Knowing we are only going to get weaker by the moment, we will let Ag- Hang on, the minus speech defense on this expedition. I don't think- I think speech is the only thing we're going to need. We will leave this mask be. No need to risk your health for some resources. You continue on to your path. The research was not worth it. Knowing this, we must go down here. We're almost at the fort. Well done! You have found the hidden halls of the expedition. On very expedition, this is a hidden hall to be found. On these occasions, fate smiles upon your crew. The crew finds it can either be a lot of gold, a lot of discovery, or a juicy secret. Knowing this, we will just gain some treasure hunt tokens. And we have been given a treasure hunt token. And with this, we go over here where we will strike an encounter. A group of villagers stop you. Hello, colorful bunch of foreigners. To pass this place, you must have a pay toll of two collect tokens. Please pay up. Shall we pay them what I do? For we don't really need the collect tokens. Or no, take the detour ahead. Or shall we, our explorers, we do not go where you need to be. Shall we take the detour, losing our resource? Shall we pay up and lose our only cookie? Collect tokens, or shall we strike up a friendly conversation? Knowing that this is not how we should be treated as foreigners. We will take on whatever is needed to take these evil, evil friendly people on. Agatha, go and surprise them with a surprise attack by going behind them with your friendly encounter. Tell them that you look nice in that dress as they run off in their surprised state. Now, as Jordan Ver goes over towards the next person, he impresses the person behind him by showing their remarkable attitude. He is so impressed and walks off. And Hildegrass follows suit and basically impresses the next person in front of Jordan Ver and impresses him so much he runs off, ends our turn, and only two natives are left. 
and it would appear that they are not anywhere close. But it appears Hildegrass might take the- Oh dear god! A thumbs up from the natives! Oh, this is not good at all. But, with this friendly attitude of ours, we take the friendly attitude and say, We are not to be spoken to like that. As we see the impressive abilities of Hildegrass shows the trick, and he is impressed once more! We have done the friendly victory once again! We have kept our collect token and gotten our own. We leave again! You made some new friends. You can pass for free. Special price for you, my friend. Also, please visit one of our villages. There is also something to do there. Magnifico! Knowing this, we have just found some interesting ideas given by the one and onlys. But knowing this, we might be running out of supplies soon. Shall we take this out of reach settlement and hope that this does not cause any trouble? Or shall we just forget the village and go forth? Knowing this, we must adventure forth. Knowing this, there is nothing found. This appears to be a disappointing turnabout. But with gold to be gained, we go over here. You'll find a weird blue mask, a messaging tribe. Putting on the mask will weaken you, but bring you mystic beings. Oh, but we lose 10 attack on this expedition. But we are not needing for an eventful attack. Agatha, wear the mask. Agatha puts the mask on and suddenly becomes weak and weary. The mask mystically disappears. However, in the process, Agatha cries out some golden tears. Yvonne is overjoyed and says some extra mean things to keep Agatha crying as long as possible. Wow. How mean. Nevertheless, we could be encountering an epic encounter. Or shall we go over here where we will be going over there? But, knowing this, our expedition might be coming to an end. We must go over here. An exhausted woman is dragging herself through the desert. Knowing she sees you, she waves and comes up towards you. Dear travelers, I have separated from my caravan. I am incredibly thirsty. Could you spare me some water? Yonver gets to the side. Of course, a gift from the renowned explorers. Or, of course, at a price. But knowing this, we might be running out of resources and may need to go back and forth in order to get the epic encounter sorted. But knowing this, we must be as friendly as possible. Yonver gives the poor lady some water. She drinks very thankfully. I will tell everyone about the generous deed, Traveller. Now I am refreshed. I will find my caravan in no time. The lady then continues on to her travels. Knowing this, we must go back. You're out of supplies. You press on. This situation is having severe effects on your crew. Your there is weak from lack of food and loses attack power. But this is no needed as we have set off to the witch doctor's village. This is it! The Witch Doctor Village! Maybe on there and the crew will be able to get rare local treasures you will collect out here. Once you've visited the village, the expedition will be over! And you'll return to the Overworld! And you and your crew ready to continue onwards! What a unique village! The villagers are all gathered around the central place where an event is taking place. You only hear, Meh, these people are boring. And I will not give them a treasure. Send them away. That must be the witch doctor. Let's take a closer look. You're right. The witch doctor just sent two other explorers away. He turns his eyes to Yonver. Obviously annoyed at another person has come to the audit. Oh, uh, another annoying group of scallywags. Go away. You're not getting anything. Is that so? Shall we have a hundred percent? Because Agatha seems to not be in any way needed. Yonver could charmingly persuade the witch doctors to listen. Or shall we have Hildegrass charmingly persuade the witch doctor to listen? Which one shall we pick? Knowing this, we will need as much tokens as we need. But we didn't need it! Just like the most of people, Hildegrad had to put in a lot of effort to make a point. But after a few minutes, a loud conversation, the witch doctor is at least stalled. Hmm, okay, let me consider. Maybe, great, maybe he'll give us treasure. The witch doctor turns to his audit committee. Are those young folks on the list or something? Are these people amusing of some sort? Uh-oh. It looks like your chances depending on these guys. Oh, but I remember these people. We've crossed them just a few moments ago. 
A Nordic community does a good word for you. They tell the witch doctor how strong your personality is and that he should hear you out. It seems your previous approach has benefited you. Shall we say some fine jokes? Or oh, good job, committee. But it's time for some jokes to shine. This crew member is a pranking trickster on this expedition. The witch doctor turns to you again. Ugh, fine. Okay, fine. Amuse me. Agatha could sum up your adventures till now. Shall Yonver be the one to say it? Or shall Hilgogard crack another joke about hyenas? This crew is a pranking trickster. Hilgogard's joke about hyenas hits the right spot. The whole village is crying with laughter. That is the best joke I have ever heard. You are the funniest person I know. He orders some villagers to bring the item. The Golden Chihuahua. What a magnificent treasure. Aha, uh -huh. well, you deserve this, but... Well, that was hilarious. I swear you can have this chihuahua. But please, tell another joke first. I need one more giggle. Uh, Hilwagard cracks another joke. Hilwagard's new joke, while well, it's little less funny than the previous joke, still makes the witch doctor laugh uncontrollably. But to Hilwagard's frustration, the witch doctor still wants more. Well, that was hilarious. I swear you can have this chihuahua. Please tell one... Uh, hang on. Are we going to go round in circles? How dare you! Hilwagard cannot do this any further. One more, and he will... We are going around in circles! He's bound to stop at any moment. That's it! It's not enough! That's quite enough of Tom Frullery. The witch doctor still wants more free entertainment. Come on, one more time. Do it for exposure. You want to fit the witch doctor, but he's in an abominate spirit. A polite decline from a majority treasure might be a better option. Shall we risk it or politely decline his request? Sod it! We will risk it! Oh, come on. I swear you can have this chihuahua. I'm such a nice old man, too. Please entertain me one more time! He is determined to keep you around forever. But we will convince the first one! Knowing this, we must start with the most friendliest conversation possible. And we need to be as friendly as possible. You will not tempt us, witch doctor! Oh, he's prepared to face us. But we will be the ones sh laughing our asses off when we tell them our impressive joke. Here, Agatha, show your friendly skill to this native here. Friendly as he is, he runs off. Now for Yonve to basically crack her funny joke of a ship one time. Impressed as he, she is, he impresses the man and runs off. Hildegrass runs over there and in cheers on the crowd. Hoping that we can gain a lot out of this. We gain a lot of spirit. We end our turn. It would appear the natives are going closer and closer. They go towards Avakafa. But it would appear... Th oh no! The dandy spirit has taken a toll. And they're going closer and closer. But not enough as the witch doctor goes closer and closer. But... Knowing this, we can take advantage of the situation as Agatha goes towards that young man over there and entertains him! And impressed as he is, runs off like the coward he is. And doing it again, Hildegrass goes one step further and impresses him with a magic trick! And a suppressive attack from that and impresses another one again with some impressive gigs. Knowing this impressive, it would appear that less and less people are coming towards your aid. And only three people are left to remain. This seems like an open and shut thing, if you ask me. It would appear that the blue person is nowhere near us. But we surprise attack this superb being by impressing him with your good ship. Knowing this, he is okay with this. But that's not enough. He will need a lot more than just respect. He goes forth. Hildegrass goes forth after he takes the mask off and presents him with flowers. Impressed as he is, Agatha goes towards with a surprise, surprise, and impresses him even more. Oh, the impressive abilities might be overwhelming him. Knowing this, they end their turn. More villagers join the conflict. Oh no! We must stop this person at once! Oh dear goodness! 
Oh no! They're attacking Agatha! Oh, but the renowned resolve might be a little less than need be. Oh, but it's not enough! Agatha, take this person down at once! Oh dear, we need two to uh, survive this encounter. But knowing our efforts so far, we must impress him as much as possible. Uh-oh, I have accidentally done something that I shouldn't have done. Oh, I am such a klutz. Impress the man as much as possible! Agatha, you must run at once! Oh dear, and it wouldn't be enough. But a cheer might cool down everyone! Or we might dance! The switches held grass the target crew member. So the buff gives both Hill Guard and both crew and the crew member. Oh, this might actually be good enough! We do this teleportation! And I don't think that did anything. The blue person comes up towards him. Oh dear God! Agatha, hand in there! Hang in there, Agatha! No! No, 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 no! He is teleported! Oh, this is not good! Not good at all! Agatha! Snap out of it, young lady! Oh, but we need to revive her as much as possible! Agatha! Revive her! Yonder! You must impress that lady over there! Impress her! Show him your dank looks! And as impressed as she is, she runs off like the coward she is. And knowing this might turn ugly, Agatha looks at this being and impresses the being! But unfortunately, we have to wait until the end of our turn. Agatha, look out! He gives you your mask! Oh, that is dandy! But that will not stop us in any way, shape, or form. The green villager comes up towards the Yonve. Oh dear! Gives her a thumbs up, but it is not enough! As Yonve looks at this being and says to her, You will not tempt us! We are very impressed, but not impressed enough. As Agatha goes towards this other being and impresses her! Or him, I don't really know. And as okay as that seems, she impresses the person again! Hildegrass does as much to stay away from these beasts of friendliness. But we end our turn. The witch doctor comes forth, trying to take us on. But it wouldn't appear to be enough as Hildegrass goes towards the Witch Doctor, and does a magic trick once more! As the Witch Doctor becomes more and more weaker, it would appear a final blow might be needed in order to take this Witch Doctor down. Agatha, you must come towards this being as much as possible. Take him down right now! A plus on your biology! You have done it! The Witch Doctor runs off! And the friendly victory is a sad. Oh, what a lovely day. You did it! The witch doctor is amazed! I never thought to meet such amazing people in my old days. You deserve this chihuahua treasure. I'm sure it is in good hands. Being friendly is fantastic! And we have been given the chihuahua! A beautiful adorned symbolic figurine. What an adventure. What a treasure, I mean. Gains an extra two collect if your resolve is an encounter. A level two Gictamac gains five speech. We take the treasure. What treasure in hand? You leave the village. Hildegrass brags that you really showed that witch doctor what a renowned explorer you all are about. The expedition is a success. Time to head back and take these treasures to the renowned Explorers International Society. We end the expedition. The Maui Wilderness has been explored with a friendly victory on our shoulders. We have been given the Chihuahua. The resources gained is a renowning 12. Renowning 12 treasure hunt. A 12 champagne. 9 study. And a 10 encounter. We continue back. And it would appear that we are almost past Amelia L. Admin. Virginia James. And this would be more promising had we been more successful. Small discoveries, interesting findings from some inspiring upstart explorers. 
exotic location uncovered by in the Mali by promising explorer Yvonne Lefer. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this dashing diplomat. With great adventure behind you, you can send a report to an exploring, welcoming country. This will unlock new possibilities on the world map, but you can only unlock one city per expedition. Later expeditions may be new options. Who are you going to report? Shall we do the Cincinnati? Shall we report to Sydney? Or shall we do this, where new free jobs may be in Africa, where you can spend your insight? Knowing this, we must go to Timbuktu. Jumbo Skilled Explorer, the African Union has heard about your amazing trials. We'd like to invite you to our port, societies and monuments to share your insight. Kind of a god, Professor Yokum Troya. Knowing this, we have been given insight. We have been given a lot of stuff that we can be given to. What? Knowing this, I must end it here. This has been a lovely exploring expedition, but this might turn to a close sooner or later. I can't be doing this whole thing forever, but in order to get my family off to Vastoska, I must do continue with the exploring. I hope you enjoyed with this expedition. Good night and good luck. Hey man, do you want to hear my new mixtape? All right, how's it go? It goes a bit like this. Hit it.